the Toons diecasts were some of the most intriguing and unique diecasts that Mattel used to do. Um, they did it in 2010. They then revamped it around 2013, 2014, 2015. And then they tried to get it back in 2017, however, that did not go very far. And only two were released, and out of the two that were released, both of them ended up being very rare. Um, so today, we're going to be taking a look at um, what, what a return for the Toons line could look like, um, and what we would want in it, and what are the chances of that happening. Uh, so of course, you will also hear a few other opinions on this later in the video, um, but first, uh, it's going to be mine. So, uh, in front of you, can, you can see uh, three cars. You have Tabinu, uh, that's the souvenir vendor, that's like, yeah, Buck the Tooth vendor, Corporal Kim in the middle there, uh, you have uh, Tormentor's biggest fan, and then you have Dex all the way to the right. And uh, I don't think there's any Toons diecast that isn't unique in like their own respective way. I mean, we're not diecast character, that doesn't count like variants like, oh there's Tokyo Mater and there's Tokyo Mater Maker's oil stains. We're talking about characters here. Um, and even when it, it does come to variants, I think a lot of the variants are cool. Like, you have McQueen with the uh, rockets. Uh, Mater with like old burnt and all that. You even have a few race fans. Well, not race fans, fans. Um, and there's even like helicopters and all that. Um, the only one I think a character that I think might not be unique is maybe the Rescue Squad tro Trooper. That's b just because of his similarities to Axel Accelerator. Um, so, um, do will the will the tune Excuse me. Will the Toons line return? Um, my guess is not this year. Um, I don't think it'll happen in 2020, at least for the 2021 line. I also don't believe that it's going to happen in the 2021 main line. Um, and I'm I'm going to say that they will try to bring, if they do renew the license in 2021, after 2021, we still have at least one more year. Um, I believe that maybe... It might, it, I don't think they want to, I think they're trying to n not do the tunes. I mean, they try to do them, but if they really want to do the tunes, they would have done it instead of all the XRS stuff, the driving series, the color changers. Well, the color changers are a nice change of pace. I mean, even though I'm not big on the color changers, um, actually, I, th I think they're pretty cool. And there might even be a few that I'll pick up, like HJ or Bobby, um, who were not in the first case, just, just as an FYI. Um, I think if they were to return the tunes, I think it would probably happen maybe 2025, and that's even if the diecast line is still, you know, ongoing. Um, and, you know, I, um, I don't know if they'd even want to do that, like, what cars would we see in that. I'm assuming if they were to revamp it, it would mostly be the releases of stuff that we saw around 2013. Actually, I think it was closer to 2014, actually. Um, stuff such as Kabuto's Ninjas, uh, Komodo, Kabuto, the simple stuff like that, Made of the Greater, Eddie and Rocky. Um, although the Eddie and Rocky re-releases were actually pretty solid considering they were, I believe they were exclusive to something back in 2010. So that was good for 2015. Um, I think 2015, um, I, obviously the 20, no, nothing can beat the uh, 2010 uh, tunes line. Uh, however, I think that around like 2015, we also got a few new solid releases, such as, um, what's his name? It's Thea Blue Fan. There's a big fan, and then there's like Buck, Bucky Break Dust, or something like that. Um, and in 2015, we also got all the new stuff, such as the uh, Radiant Springs 400. We got some of the Easter cars, I know. That's more of a storyteller's type thing. Uh, we got the, uh, the Disneyland exclusive. Time Travel Mega Packs, and in, in like 2012 we also got all the Air Mater stuff, so we got like a re-release of Stubop, we had a re-release of the Rescue Helicopter, we also got a few new releases, such as um, Burnt, uh, Autonaut McQueen, Autonaut McQueen, Autonaut Mater, uh, and we also got the, uh, the blue Nazca delivery truck, or shuttle rather, uh, and that guy is one of my all-time favorites, um, and we also got um, like, the, um, what was it called, the, uh, got a new release with Kabuto with Flames, uh, but I'm, I'm thinking of the, um, 
It's the, uh, oh yeah, it's the, um, the canceled short. It's like when Sheriff went on holiday and all that. Um, so that, that's kind of my two cents on it. So if they were to return, I think it would be years from now. Um, and I, I, I think it would mostly be releases, maybe one or two new releases thrown in there. Um, but, uh, after I, after I give my, after my friends give their opinion on this, uh, I'll talk about what I think we could see, uh, in that theoretical mainline, and also what I would want to see. So, with that, uh, my two friends are here, J.S. Carze and Sensei Luminous. Uh, so we will go to them, them, and then we will come back to me. Uh, so here is their take on that. Sensei Luminous here, and before I begin, I just want to say thanks to Epic Green Thunder for having me on another one of his videos. I'm always happy to take part. And here are my thoughts on whether or not Mattel will bring back the Toons line anytime soon for the Diecast line. Now, do I want to see the Toons line return? Oh, absolutely. I would love a bunch of the cars we see in Tokyo Mater, Rescue Squad Mater, Mater Private Eye especially. That one didn't get any Diecast. Um, and so on and so forth. Um... Do I think it's likely, however? I'm not sure. Now, it seems like Maytel did want to focus mainly on Cars 3 for the 2019 line, which I get. We were still fairly recently out of Cars 3. Um, however, this year they've started expanding into Silvers and Metallics, which are expanded universe stuff that don't have any media surrounding them. Now, do I think that expanded universe stuff in the main line is a good thing. I'm not sure about that, but it's a good sign for the tunes at least, because the tunes are kind of expanded universe too, and that means the tunes could have a shot at being in the main line, proper, like as an actual series, which would be really cool. I think it's definitely a possibility that they return. However, I wouldn't hold my breath for it, given Maytel's uh, spontaneous decision making. So, we'll just have to wait and see, is what I think will really happen. But, uh, yeah, that about sums up my thoughts on this whole scenario. I uh, just want to say thanks once again to Epic Green Thunder for having me on this video. And this is Sensei Luminous, signing off. Will the Toons lineup return? Um, had you asked me this question a month ago, I would say likely not. Uh, and I still am kind of with that answer, whereas I don't think we will ever see a mainline release of them again. However, um, as of recent, we've got the XRS cars as well as the Pixar mashup cars, uh, which are like relatively smaller cases, expanded universe stuff. Um, so I think it would be very possible and most likely probable that in the near future we'll see the, uh, some Toons diecast reissues. I really hope we get new cars from Mater Private Eye as it's one of my favorite shorts, so Mater himself, uh, me and Tia, McQueen, uh, Lieutenant McQueen, Big D, uh, etc. However, I think um, if I had to name some re-releases, I think we could very likely get um, a case of 12 uh, with just like each Mater from every short, so like a reissue of Mater the Greater, or um, uh, El Matador, especially him because he's actually gotten quite collectible now. So. I personally would like a re-release of him, uh, as well as many others. So yeah, I'm really excited and hopeful for what the future could bring. As, um, and yeah, uh, thank you all uh, to Epic Green Thunder for having me on. Uh, yeah, see ya. Bye. There you have it, folks. That is their two cents on the tune's return. Now it's time for my opinion. And in my opinion, uh, I think that we can maybe see more 2010... Uh, what was the short called? Tokyo Mater releases. Uh, we got quite a few back in like 2014, uh, like Manji, um, that other green guy who looks similar to, you know, not, not Komodo, the other green guy, not Van San either. Um, I think we could also see a few new releases, but um, I mean, 2017 was not a good year for the Toons diecasts, and even what they were scheduling. Um, they had Dragon Mater and Mater the Greater that actually made it out. And they actually had a, a like, one or two more scheduled, as far as we know. And the only one I know off the top of my head is a Mator, is a Mator, the UFO 
was, I believe, scheduled for that year. Um, and I think maybe we could get a few, um, maybe Rescue Squad Manor releases. We could get Nurse Quarry. Um, I'm, the Ambulance would probably get released again. They love the Ambulance and, like, everything. Um, maybe they could bring back the Autonauts. Like, the Autonauts, we didn't get a whole lot of stuff with them. We got, like, four releases from that short, and there were there's so many cool background characters. Like, uh, the TV host, you had Impala on the moon. You have all those pities that appear in the control room. Um, UFO Mater seems to be a favorite for only releasing, like, two cars. Uh, Dr. Ashlock Wagon has been released, like, every single time. Um, so I think he'd be a likely candidate. Um, we also might get, I think we get a lot of the Monster Truck Mater cars as deluxes. Um, now like Rastakari and Tormentor, Frightening McNean. It would also be cool to see Dr. Frankenwagon, um, finally, re finally released from Mattel. The, uh, the Disney store did do a version of him, uh, back in the day. Um, Mater El Matador, there's actually quite a few cars cancelled from El Matador. Like the, um, the pity that was standing next to Padre, who had, um, Mi the Miantia versions from that short. You also had, um, McQueen, McQueen with the, um, you know, the hat and all that. He was also reportedly canceled. Now, this is, this isn't actually confirmed. This is just from Take 5 a day, and, um, they're saying that this is what was scheduled, like, before they're actually released. They're like, oh, this is what Mattel's told us is upcoming. And back in the day, Take Five a Day was one of the was probably the best source, um, the best well known source uh, for the new diecast information. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that most of that is correct. However, I do take that information with a grain of salt. There's also quite a few unidentified flying motor cars canceled, such as some of the lab pities. Um, there's also apparently another one of these guys that was supposed to be released. However, um, it said flatbed truck. Um, so it could have potentially just been an early name for this guy. Also quite a few Rescue Squad Mater cars released, like one of the reporters that like quickly took a photo of him. There was um, the car that yelled fire, someone called Rescue Squad Mater. He was also reportedly cancelled. However, there's no knowing for sure. It just, the, um, the Take 5 it just, just simply has it as crowd car. Um, there's, yeah, Take, uh, I have a, I have been kind of stocking up on some of the stuff that Take 5 a Day showed back in the day, and it's, nobody really knows about it. Um, like, there was a bunch of canceled 2015 RC cars, like, um, Mildred Bylane, uh, Milton Caliper, um, and there was also, like, in 2017 for the Cars 3 line, you know, Red River Cam was canceled, they also canceled, um, they apparently canceled uh, Brick's sponsor. Um, there's a car called Gage, which um, it could potentially be the Thunder Hollow announcer. They uh, also canceled cars such as, like, they canceled a Hillbilly fan. That's what it was listed at. They also canceled a dude called Old Timer with Dent Me. Um, that's what it was listed as, so I'm not sure what that actually is. Uh, you know, Fair Game, you know, we all know it was canceled in that year. Um, but now for what I'd like to see in the Toons line, uh, there's five cars. So there's this kind of rainbow car in Tokyo Mater. Uh, I call him Niji, uh, which is Japanese for rainbow, I believe. Um, there's sort of a, uh, uh, there's also like a tiger looking car. Um, I think it looks pretty solid. Uh, that would be another one. Um, there's like a gold, the, the gold TV host in a uh, Moon Mater. Um, I think is really nice. It looks really cool. It's another one I'd want. Um, I'd probably, I'd probably also try to get some more of the, uh, what are the, what are the uh, rock and roll major cars. Cars such as, like, maybe the, uh, Waitress Me and Tia in pink. Those look really good. Um, like some of the trucks that appeared at the truck stop. There's some pretty cool designs. Um, and maybe for a last one, let's just say uh, some of those rusty cars that made her jumped over uh, and made her the greater. So those are just my opinions on the Toons line. And uh, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because that pretty much ends it. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye.